Before we did too much work on the engine, we thought we'd first water test the engine to make sure the integrity of the liner o-rings. So this is where the water goes into the engine. It then comes round here into the oil cooler along and at the other end through the pipe there into the cylinder casing. There's also an additional water supply here that's teed off from the water inlet to the engine. So this is the supply into the engine, fills a block, goes through the heads and out into the water-cooled exhaust manifold. As we started filling the engine, we could hear water dripping, but we looked up on the line of bottom there's no signs of any leaks anywhere and then we, to horror to horror we looked down and found there was water coming out from the main bearing and the large end block this can only be caused because we've got problems with the uh, the oil cooler so we're just going to take the end off and have a look at the tubes inside but since then we've taken the oil supply pipes off to the main bearings that run off the gallery at the back here to here and we've pumped oil through the bearings to displace any water that can be could be trapped. As you can see it's a bit mucky in there but uh, everything's in good nick. The brass plugs are in purely to keep any muck out that might fall in while the uh, pipe works off. So this is the oil cooler with the end plate off. All we've got to do now is find out which one or ones are leaking and uh, either re-roll them at the ends or plug them up. This is an example of some of the uh, oil stroke sludge out of the bottom of the sump of the engine. It might look a bit horrible but uh, there's no gritty bits in it or bits of the bearing material so uh, with a bit of luck but uh, there's a bit of dirty work involved removing the rest of it that's just out of one bay never mind it's all good fun <laughs>